In this video, I wanna show you how knowing your audience plays a massive role in having a successful lead generation campaign for your real estate business. Hey guys, if you haven't met me yet, my name's Emmanuel. I am the founder and kind of chief talking head guy around here over at Square One Group, where our mission is to really help you identify your expertise and then help you scale your real estate business using systems. That said, we got nothing to sell you. I make these videos because we really want to try to give you a leg up to try to bring in some new business. So if and when you do decide to scale, you keep us in mind because we would love to work with you. Now today I wanna to jam on with you about audiences and why knowing them is crucial to the success of your lead generation strategies and campaigns. But first, let me start with a story because that'll really add context to this. So we have this client, he's focused on upsizing families or more specifically families that have outgrown their current living situations. Like maybe they're living in a one bedroom apartment and they're expecting a newborn or maybe they have two kids and they're waiting on a third. In either case, they're running out of room and they they need to move to a place bigger. Now, the question that we were trying to answer here is, how do we get in front of this type of lead? By the way, in this particular story, this was happening back in December. So typically this is the slowest time of the year for real estate. Now, the answer to this question is really where the importance of knowing your audience comes into play. So what we did, instead of running some generic ads about families outgrowing their home or maybe just a new listing, we got really, really creative. We knew his audience typically had kids and they were looking to do something inexpensive for the holidays. And one of the things that his audience really likes to do is they like to drive around and look at homes that have beautifully decorated Christmas lights. So what we did was we designed a map of the neighborhood with all of the homes that have Christmas lights for the families to go out and kind of visit and we just ran an ad towards it. Now, not only did this immediately shoot up his legion, but it also brought down his cost per lead to about $2, which ended up really allowing him to get into escrow a few weeks later because we essentially were able to find his ideal clients through these leads. Not only that, he also ended up with a good like 180 leads to spare. So he has a lot of people to nurture. Now, the key here that I want to emphasize is that this happened in the slowest time of the year and we were able to pull this off, which really brings me back to the importance of knowing your audience. You see, knowing your audience allows you to align yourself with your perfect future client's interests. And the more that you know about them, the more you can create value that in turn would be a good fit and tailor your pitch around what appeals to them. And when I'm talking about pitch, the key here is that the pitch does not have to be about real estate. In the example I just explained to you, our agent knew the pain points of an upsizing family, which was how do I find something inexpensive to do with my kids and created a solution to solve for that problem that was both free for them and time relevant. By the way, if you found value in this idea, or the strategy so far, please go ahead, click that like button, subscribe button, bell icon, really appreciate it. Okay, so how can you use this information for you now? Well, the way I would start this is by first identifying my perfect ideal client. And then I would answer questions about their characteristics, like the demographic information, their psychographics and behaviors. Then if I have a database of people, I would actually survey them. I'd send out email blasts, just simply asking some questions about who they are and what they like. And these can be really super easy questions, like what are your plans for the weekend? What is your favorite vacation spot? What is the favorite restaurant that you like to go to. By the way, not only are these emails a super viable ways to collect data, but they are also great conversation starters. Then based off of the answers to that, I will put that into my CRM. And what I'll typically do is I'll assign tags to the contacts with all of these different interests. Now, once I have the information, then what I'll do is I'll start organizing all of these data points into what are called buyer personas, which is really just a fancy way of saying groups. And when I'm talking about organization, that's no more than just simply opening up a spreadsheet and then copying and pasting all their answers and kind of analyzing what the responses are visually. Then from there, now that I have all this really great information, then I can start to identify patterns and more importantly, start making assumptions. And then based on those assumptions, I'll create a piece of value and then run a marketing ad campaign towards it. And then really from there, it's rinse and repeat, figure out what's working and then just lean into it. By the way, we talk more about this type of strategy inside our free Facebook group, leaving the link in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, check out this one here. Bye now.